Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So for today's tutorial, I figured we'd go over putting in the face image as well as the background image. I know I talked about it in the last tutorial, but I figured I would go over and show you guys how to actually make the images as a sprite and UI and how to install that. So the first thing that we're gonna need is to go into our NPC script. So we're gonna do public transform face image. And then down in the on trigger state, we're going to go face image dot game object dot set active true. And then on the on trigger exit, we're going to put the face image as uh, false. So now that's done, we're going to go into our texture folder that we created a while back. A long time ago, I actually had a couple UIs done for a different game, and they look something like this. So this is the box image the female archer that you had just saw and it is uh, cut out it's a PNG file so the background is cut out for the box same with the female knight here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and drop the images on so I'm gonna drag and drop the face one face on and I'm gonna drag and drop that chat box in here as well so for the face image what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set this as a sprite slash UI so let's go up to default here and go to sprite to the UI and then go down here and hit apply and do that for the chat box as well so we're just going to go sprite to the UI and hit apply so now that we have them applied we're just going to right click and we're going to go to create and a material and we're going to create a material I'm just going to name this as a new material just for now because I already have them done so what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop. So let's do the chat background first. So we're just going to drag and drop that on. We're going to go up to here to the standard and then we're going to go down to uh, sprites and make it default. And you'll get a new window like that, which is good. So let's go ahead and create a new material for the face. So material and I'll just name it new material one. I'm going to take the face that we had just did. I'm going to drag and drop that on. I'm also going to make this as sprite default. So let's go to our dialog system now. I'm going to have to uh, activate it so that we can see it. I'm going to go to the 2D view and I'm just going to double click on it so that we can spread out. So I had already installed it on this one so I'll just go over kind of what I did to install it. So we're going to go to our background where the image is actually on. We're going to grab our background image, so that would be the new material one. And we're going to drag and drop it onto material. Now, we did have a source image on. So if you have a source image, just uh, scroll up to the top here and hit none so that there's none on here. And it's going to be calling the material. And it should show up also down right below it. Now, it may resize. So you may have to resize uh, what the text is. So let's go to the chat here, Oops, right here. So you may have to resize the name and the dialogue if it uh, resized the image for the background. And then so I wanted a different color. So I changed the color for the name to red. And then I also changed the font to 13. And then for the dialogue here, I changed it to 12 just to be a bit smaller and I made it bold as well. I also made sure that it was a darker black. Now the dialog may come out just past where it is before it actually starts the new line. So you may want to bring this in a little bit. Now leave a little space at the side here for the dialog image. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go into the chat background. We're going to right click and we're going to create a UI image. So it's going to give you something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition it to where roughly I want it. And then I'm going to go to the rec tool and I'm going to just bring it in to about where I want it. You can always zoom in if you want to kind of fine tune it to the right position. Uh, if it's going down a bit too fast, just zoom in a bit. So I'm going to name this uh, female archer face and I'm just going to name this too just for the tutorial here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop that material like we did for the background on to the material here it doesn't have a source image and there we go we have it on so what we're going to do now is once it's positioned properly we're going to deactivate it because the script will activate it and deactivate it when it is called for 
So I can actually deactivate this now. Oh, and just make sure that it's up near the top, just so that you know it's gonna be on top of the UI. So I'm gonna to go to the GUI now that we're done here, and I'm going to shut that off so that I can actually go into uh, the game without it popping on. So for the female archer now, we're just gonna take that face image that we had, and we're gonna drag and drop that on. So it will actually turn on and turn off the face image. And so if you do another one for the female knight, just drag and drop that female knight like we have here into here, and that script will just turn it on and turn it off on whichever NPC you're talking to. Sorry, I got them mixed up. I actually brought in the female knight, not the female archer, but it should still work. So we're actually gonna see the knight face. So here's the knight face, not the archer face. So whichever one you talk to, I'm actually going to uh, move this female archer into here just so that we can actually get a proper wreck. So here is the female archer. So as you can tell, it goes, it stops, stand on guard, can be pretty boring at times. Have you talked with the knight over there? She was looking for you earlier. And then so if we go talk this one, if you did another image and you put it on this one as the female, whoops, it would be this one as the female knight, you will also get the thing. And as you can tell, it w went a little bit farther than where our rec was, but it didn't go past the dialogue system uh, background, so it brought it down below it, which is what we wanted. And that's why we left a little space there. So we can actually go through. Uh, if we leave, uh, it's going to cancel out that image. And that's all there is to add in like an image and changing the background, the face, the color of the dialogue. And uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. If you have trouble, just uh, let me know and I'll try to help you as soon as I can. And see you guys next time. The feeling starts